Hey guys, Shannon here from Press Start, and we are now unboxing the Xbox Series S. Definitely from the onset, we can tell it's a much smaller box. No Halo on the back this time, variety of games, 512 gigabyte SSD instead of the one terabyte in the Series X. And yeah, let's crack it open. Again, straight away, we have the Power Your Dreams little slip. That's the Xbox Series X, S logo, and G. Yeah, can tell straight away it's so much lighter than the Xbox Series X, and to be honest, any console that I've ever held before. Let's crack it open without taking too much of your time, hopefully. Yeah, instantly you can tell how much smaller this is than the Xbox Series X. Like, obviously I was prepared for it to be small, but I feel like this is on another level to even what I expected. So yeah, there it is on the top. We've got that infamous black grille and the all-white console, completely different to the Series X. On the front, obviously no disk drive, but there's a USB port and the power button hidden away. Vents and feed on the bottom. On the back, we have the Ethernet port, two USB ports, a HDMI out port, the expansion storage memory port, and an AC port. And yeah, really nice console, super small. Similar to the Xbox Series X, we have a pamphlet for controller and the app to set up the console which is super useful in just getting everything ready to go really fast. In here, we have our HDMI cord. I believe it's just HDMI 2.0 and not HDMI 2.1. And power cord, obviously the brick is still inside the console, which is impressive given how small it is. Let's get this controller out. Obviously it's different to the Xbox Series X in the sense that it is robot wide, I think it's called, still got batteries. And same joysticks, new D-pad as well, share button there, and your new triggers, which have more tactility and their lower profile. Really, really like them. If you haven't read the piece on the side about the new controller, I absolutely love it. Batteries go in there. And yeah, there you have it. That is the Xbox Series S. Let's close that up. And yeah, along with the Xbox Series X, we'll be looking at both consoles in detail and sort of how games play on both of them in the lead up to launch but yeah still really can't get over how small that console is i really really like it definitely when it was first revealed i had some reservations about how it looked but in the flesh it's it's really nice and a completely different look to the xbox series x for sure all right on that note let's wrap this up and yeah chat soon bye <laughs>